Hi, and welcome back to Thursday Reading Recommendations with Pastor Brett. Last week, I recommended a children's book. This week, very much not, but some reading for adults, particularly in light of um, the news this week that Rome may be overturned and we may see a changing landscape for policy, rights, and healthcare access um, for women in our country. And so um, in light of that, and while our news cycle has a like really fast turnover, um, these things are really deep and heavy things and something I think that we're gonna continue to need to engage on. And so as people of faith, it matters, and especially because our faith and Christian faith is called in on this and has been a factor in how people are deliberating these um, really important issues. So I have for you, a book recommendation, and then some resources about our church, the ELCA's teaching on these matters. So first, book recommendation. The book this week is Shameless by Pastor Nadia Bowles Weber, who is a pastor in our denomination, the ELCA, also a well-known author and speaker. And in this book, Bowles Weber sets forth a um, really beautiful, every chapter is kind of a different topic or vignette um, about how we might in some ways deconstruct, but also just um, take a look at what we may have received culturally and religiously, messages about um, sex and relationships and bodies and yes, abortion as well, and um, how we might view them um, with less shame and to take a fresh approach to what our Christian tradition has to offer here, knowing that God is loving and merciful full and relational. Um, and in this book, I shared an excerpt from it on my personal social media this week uh, because she has a great just short four page thing about how um, abortion got picked up as a coalescing a strategic political issue by the religious right and that might be a little bit interesting to read right now because uh, they picked it up as a political issue and then the religious right changed their theology about abortion it wasn't that there was a fixed and there never has been just one way to be a Christian and think about these things um, so that's important to know that history and to know that faithful people faithful Christians believe differently on this and um, are across the spectrum. And that is perhaps a good segue. So read, check out this book sometime if you want a good conversation partner. And that broad um, set of perspectives is a good segue to ELCA teaching. Now, we do have an official ELCA teaching on the topic of abortion, and it comes in the form of a social statement. Social statements are church teachings on social matters that are take years in the making of study and um, conversation and research and drafts and then passed by the churchwide assembly of members. Um, and this one, the social statement on abortion, was passed in 1991. And so that means... It sounds like it was written in 1991, and some of the language might be a little bit dated, but it remains the social teaching of our church, and it's um, just 12 pages, and there's a study guide that goes along with it. I'm going to link to everything in the descriptions. And um, But a good partner reading for this is a newer social statement just passed in 2019 called Faith, Sexism, and Justice, A Call to Action. So this one's just three years old and um, has some relevant pieces on it as well because it talks about um, gender and sex and justice and all these things just like the title says. But on page 63, it has a good, this one's long, but the font is big, it has a good summary. It reads, the ELCA social statement, abortion, this one, addresses in a nuanced way this critical, complex, and controversial aspect of reproductive health care. It teaches that the life and decisions of someone who is pregnant, as well as the developing life in the womb, must be respected. 
and protected through a complex assessment of moral and social factors. On that basis, the church teaches that abortion ought to be a last resort for pregnant persons and the people in their lives. At the same time, ELCA teaching opposes laws that deny access to safe and affordable abortions. It urges efforts to reduce the conditions that encourage many to turn to abortion as a response to unintended pregnancy. Hmm. So in the, even in that little bit, there may have been parts that you felt like, oh yeah, um, that resounds with me and other parts that made you kind of question or wanna um, challenge the language that's used or you can notice that even in that little summary, there is an acknowledgement of the gray, that these are complex moral and practical matters, that access and affordability are parts of this and intertwined and interwoven with the um, injustices in our system and in the ways in which we treat um, different people. And so these are big things, dear friends. And so I'm here if you ever want to talk about them, if you ever need space, if you're struggling with any of these topics or how we regard them as people of faith, or if you disagree, um, that's okay. Let's chat together. I'll have these resources available on Sunday as well. I encourage you to, um, to pray, to act, to um, speak out and for my part, I want to commend you to think of the most vulnerable and to read and to hear and to consume media with a heart um, that considers those who might be most at risk or hurting this week. So be well, happy reading, and I'll see you soon.